Testing one, two, three. All right. Uh, it is now Friday, uh, March 20th, 2020. My name is Dakaris Mako. Also, I don't know if I said the time, 12, 1230 a.m. Can't tell time. Or can't tell tell time? Can't tell say side? Okay, but anyways. Uh, man, it has been a day. I am, uh, I am thankful I have a job to where I can work from home. When I need to, but our business is severely affected, and today was, whoo, it was busy, and like not the good busy, the pain in the butt busy. Um, anywho's, uh, yeah, Animal Crossing, it's now out. It came out at at uh, it didn't drop. So it was supposed to drop at twelve, drop at twelve fifteen, and I was stuck working. Uh, but now I'm off. I'm like, gosh darn it, I'm busy. I have video game to play. I, I, I didn't say that. That would have been bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're getting our character started. We may even try some uh, online play with it, with uh, Mortimer Nova. Uh, I still need to get my character created and all that fun stuff, I guess. So I've never played any of the Animal Crossings before. And uh, my friends told me to get this game because it's awesome. And I looked at like the stuff and I'm like... Uh, oh, it's like very, very kid ish. And they're like, Yeah, so it's Pokemon. I'm like, Yeah, and I did Pokemon. I didn't really care for it. Not my type of game. Although I need to start playing it. However, I don't know anything about Pokemon either. And my concern is I'm going to do that. And everybody's going to be like, Dude, you don't know anything about this shit. I'm like, Yeah, I know. I've been saying that all along. Uh, any, any who's. Um, yeah, I do have Sword and Shield, and like, I, I rarely ever play it. So I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you fans of it. I, I, I do want to like it. I'm just a very, I, I like, I have a niche, uh, which I don't always follow. Um, uh, anyways, I'm going to give this a go. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to stop delaying. Uh, I did just start it before I started streaming, but I have not done anything yet other than hit my LR to, 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 to make my, sure my controller's working on it. So this is the first thing it came up to after the first Nook splash screen. Without further ado. Here we are. Look at that. We only had one technical issue so far, and why is my thing way up, way up there? I need to fix my camera. App. Oh, I know why. A little bit of adjustment. A little bit of adjustment. <laughs> Sorry, so you can drive me nuts. That good? That good? I, I think we're good. All right. Behold. Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. Okay. I, I can't say that. I don't know. Don't even know what language that would be. I am that dumb. Things here. All right. Timmy, good evening. We're so excited to have you here. Have you here? Okay. Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Man, I, I, I love the font. It's like big, where I can actually see it. Nice. Welcome to the check-in counter for you deserted island, for your deserted island getaway package. An expression. There's so much to look forward to, but first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook, Inc. 
and I'm Tommy. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? Yes, we shall. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can you have your name and birth? Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday. Oh, you can't change this. Oh, later, I guess. How do I? Is there any? Ah. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Ooh. Ooh. This is the guy in the background. Oh, come on! Come on! I need one more character. For the the car's vac. I'm not going to be the car's vac. Uh, we'll just be Dakaris. Man. Are you okay with the cars? Oh, no, I want the cars Baco, but whatever. The world of Animal Crossing is welcome to all, so don't include personal info or offensive words. Okay. Birthday. We cannot change your birthday later. People don't know, might think this is your local or off. During, I see this during the long play. So, I'm gonna put the year there. My birthday, y'all. That's right. It was last week, ish, week before. I like that. <laughs> Is March twelfth your birthday? Yes, yeah, sir. The cars, the cars, let's see. Oh yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Takaris. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. You are. Please choose your style. Skin tone. I would say that. Only that. Hairstyle. Oh boy, no. Oh goodness gracious. Is, is that is that it? Is that all the hairstyles I have to choose from? Oh jeez. I don't, I don't like any of these. Did pick male. Why are half of these like really female looking? I, am I missing something? Did pick male, did I not? Size side, I can miss this. Oh boy. Oh, 
can there be so many eye selections, but not for hairstyle? Thinking, thinking out. That's actually not too bad. and mouth. Good grief. Cheeks. So that's kind of cool. Uh, decided on. Mm -mm -mm. Our decision of the day. I'm Saskin. I am thinking too hard. Great, you're all set. All set! I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting, exciting. Spot stuff on it all. I might have sound really stupid. And now let's start talking about your new home. So exciting! Exciting! You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh, yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to that. To th you're used to them. Kind of freaked me out. I heard the that talking like in the background or the intercom. I'm like, what the crap is that? What I mean is, we have islands in both the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Current home. So tell me, Dakaris, where do you live now? Live now. North America. Oh, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So naturally, we'd recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make. That sounds okay to you so far. So far! I'm in the Northern Hemisphere, right? Yes, I'm in the Northern Hemisphere. Boy, I had a dumb moment there for a minute. Uh, yep. Very good. We have a number of lovely inhabited and wow, uninhabited islands in the northern hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size, and we're all quite and they're all quite natural. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. Can't go wrong. Follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I'd do it. Wait, look at those impressions go. I'll show you some maps now, and you can choose the best one for your new home. New home! Hmm. Very and 
Interesting. Definitely not that one. I would say it'd be, to be between this one. I say this one. Or that one. Taking this one. Ah, what the hell? Is this the island that you want? Uh, sure. Wonderful choice. Choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Oh, but before we depart, I have one final question for you. You can only bring one thing with you to a deserted island. What would it be? What would it be? Sleeping bag. A lamp, some food, something to kill time. Food, sleeping, food, sleeping. I'm gonna say sleeping bag because we can find food. You can't find a sleeping bag. I mean, not on a deserted island. Yeah, maybe if you were, it'd be like stashed away somewhere on some shipwreck, some wrecked salvage, and no one wants to sleep in that. Food. Who knows? Never been in time before. Something to kill time? Oh, I can make things to kill time. Lamp? Oh, we gotta power that baby. Sleeping bag it is. How interesting. Why is that interesting? Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a hypothetical question. What was the question? Oh, the... Well, what would I bring with me? Nook Inc. will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. Your attention, please. This is a service announcement. The chartered flights to for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. Together! Good evening, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook's Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. I assume that was the captain. That's peaceful. This survivor is a survivor, isn't it? Being punked, dropped off on a deserted island with nothing. Jumping out of a plane like uh, Fortnite style or PUBG style. Nope, barely not. That's good. <laughs> We're here! Now I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Could you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? This is a timeshare, isn't it? You're gonna give me some presentation, rope me in, and I'll not be able to get out of it. Uh, a 
fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. Hey, they're already starting with the pushiness. We're heading there right now if you'd like to come to follow us. Hey, they sucker, you guys can come in here too. We gotta get the move on, come on. Want to left behind? Let's go. Yeah, I, I might want to. I might want him to go do the stupid presentation. All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Sylvia here? How about Rudy? The Karis, of course. Here. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see how shall I begin. Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. It is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder of To See Your President Nook Inc. Yes, yes. Today's the first day of your new life on the pristine, lovely island. So, congratulations. And is this a package deal? Hmm. And such, Nook Inc. still will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But, first things first, yes, yes, here comes a, here comes a pitch. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. The first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big, I do have certain connections in construction and real estate and... Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself, let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Alright, alright. I might, I might, I might Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and then choose a spot to place it. Oh, that's, that's me. Alright, am I putting it? What's this crap? What was this crap? May I just take someone else's tent? Excuse me, I highly recommend picking up your tent from either Timmy or Tommy first. Oh, right, 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 my bad. I just can't listen to directions, you know, I'm pretty crappy. Uh, Timmy and Tommy, we have it for your tent, eh? Mer. Tommy! Alright, you have to pick stuff. Here you go, Dakaris. Your very own tent. Look at a different color. Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory, then select your tent to place it. Same thing I do when I go camping. It X and it deploys my tent. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a place where you want what works for you. Oh, I suppose you should probably stand up for the map too. Yeah, naturally. Once you put your tent up, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. How about you, Timmy? Wondering how much space your tent is going to take up? I'm trying to imagine five folks standing side by side. That's how wide it is. Oh, and three folks deep. Okay. Ah. Take the radio. That's a boy. Can I this one? Uh, here's the map. There's the map. Uh... Definitely not where I want to put it. If I get about to come, I uh, just stop and it comes up. I would say. Oh, decisions, decisions. Do we have any red apples? Are these like pears? Need lots of breathing room. Sylvia, you're, wait, I got it. Don't tell me you're Nakaris, right? See, told you I had it. I'm Sylvia. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing. Boing. Looks like we're, but, looks like we're both having trouble deciding where to set up our tents. I mean, it's a pretty big decision. Yeah, of course, no matter where you settle down on this island, at least we'll be neighbors. 
Now there's people out of the place. It's not really a deserted island. Oh, look at this. You're on the beach here. Oh, of course I want to be next to the beach. I mean, who doesn't want to be next to the beach? And a duck. I definitely want to be next to a duck. First things first, I need to... Okay, fine. Or anything got like, you know, clubs. You gotta be, you know, a member first. Gotta... Gotta pay my... Golf course fees. Yacht club fees. Yo, I'm Rudy. You're the curse, right? Nice to meet you. Mush. So, find a place to put your tent in? I'm looking to pitch mine somewhere close to the nature so I can train my body and my soul in mush. What the hell is mush? I mean, I don't want to put it, like, right in the sand. Dumb. How about, like, right here? I mean, is this shit staying here? Come on, now. I'm thinking... How about, like, right about here? That's it, right here. Here. Oh, I mean, like, can I we think move down a little bit? That's good. I set up my tent. That's a big first step. playing this game right now. Holy crap. Alright. I'm supposed to go see these other guys, right? Nothing new. On red with president. Oh, hey, residents from friends and their favorites. Tom Nook still needs to tell me a few things, so I'll check this out later. Alright. Good news he's not far. Tommy, hey, Tommy, buddy. Tommy, baby. Tommy Harris, you must have found a suitable spot for your tent, hmm? You're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching just for the right location. You know, since you've already done some scouting, the, no, the others may appreciate your assistance. Yes? Yes. Okay. Thanks. I didn't mean to talk to you. I talked to you. Thank you. Thank, 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 you. thank you. Moving on. Mo moving on. Okay, apparently you're the only one I can talk to. Oh, jeez. Gotcha. You already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to feel the best feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. Oh, hey, 
I couldn't just sit here thinking and over, so I grabbed a stick and threw it. And here's where it landed. Now, now this is my spot, okay? I know there's only so far I could throw with a stick, but I'm liking this. Good to me. For real? Boing. Well, if you're sure, actually, let me think about this a little. Don't mind you gonna freaking ask, seriously? Uh... Looks great. Awesome, from now on, this won't be just anywhere on the island, it's gonna be my home sweet home. I can't believe I got such an awesome spot. You rock, boing! I wonder how that Rudy guy is doing. He might be having as much trouble as I was. Maybe you should go see if he needs help too. Hey, right, where was that jerk? Rudy! Rudy! There's Rudy. You already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's just going to have lots of fresh air. I think this will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Dakaris? Oh, you're like too close to my tent, dude. Maybe reconsider. Yeah, you're right. This is important. I should flex my brain and think real hard about where I want to live. I got something this spot is pretty awesome, and my gut is the smartest part of my body. But, do I trust it, or should I pick somewhere else? What do you think, Dakaris? I'll find you a freaking spot. What? You want me to find a sweet spot to put this up? Seriously? Wow, we just met, and you're already doing some heavy lifting on our friendship, Dakaris. Okay then, can't wait to see your epic spot you picked for me. Really, I'm just trying to distance you from myself because you're too damn close to me. My tent is in your hands. Mush, you got this. If you need me, I'll be over at the plaza visualizing how awesome island life is going to be. We're just going to take off? Jesus, let me just do everything for you here. Alright, let's move you far from me. You know what? I wanted this spot, but I want you to have it. No. I want to put it on top of a freaking tree. Eh. Close enough. Let's, let's imagine it. Let's let's just see how it goes. Yeah, that'll do. Rudy's got a place for his tent now. Everybody's freaking gone. Looks like everyone has a spot picked out for their tents now. I need to go back to the plaza. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spot to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while. Hmm, you really good feel how it suits you. With that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business here. Time to timeshare pitch. I'm telling you. Like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Teamwork, eh? All right. Let's see. Timmy, Sylvia, Tommy, and Ruby set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, the cars and I will go work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. All right, everyone, let's get to it. The cars, would you come see me for a moment? Okay. I'm 
sitting right here in front of you, and they're all kind of still here, so if you want to, like, give me in private or something. Ah, yeah, jeez, yeah, 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 This is why I moved you out of the way. Gathering can be a tough workout. Just place yourself and get what you need. You got this, moosh. Thank you. I don't know if I... Excuse me. I want to make sure we get off to the right start. So, do you mind talking to me first? I tried. Anagaris, I just wanted to get o get go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly ten tree branches should be, do the trick. You can find them scattered around the island. So, when you find one laying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the pear-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real pears. What else would there freaking be? Hey, oh boy. Deek. Deek. Pick up rocks. I can pick up rocks. Deek. What's that? Three or four? I'll say three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. What a pretty butterfly, pretty butterfly. You're going to need 10 of the fallen tree branches you might have seen lying around. Speaking of which, have you tried shaking any trees yet? You might get branches and other ways of doing Okay, just approach any tree without fruit and press A to give it a few shakes. If he does it, you're bound to shake something loose eventually. I just picked up. Do I have like an inventory at all? Can't say it right now. Oh, there it is. There's one I... Oh, whatever. I got one extra. Oh, good, good, Karis. It looks like you've managed to collect up the tree branches, hmm? You found even more than I asked. Yeah. I'm an overachiever. I only need ten, but I'm sure you'll find a good use for the rest. Yeah. I'll take what we need off your hands now. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for our campfire. You made a quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such hard worker. Oh, there's like tons of people here. It's not really desolate. Speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to work. Is to round up something to snack on. While you're collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be almost abundant here. They look like pears. They smell like pears. They even taste like pears. In fact, they're 100% without a doubt genuine pears. So... Will you collect six of them for me? I'm sure you don't need much guidance here, but just in case. I'm gonna check the tree with it. Yep, okay, got it. Go put your pears in it. Another one go. Got it. How many did you say? Uh, eight? Six? He said six. We're gonna get some extras. How we do? Well, well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. <laughs> I'll go ahead and take those pears off your hands and get started on the preparations. Shit, <laughs> dude, like, walk up by his eyes, like, stare, wide open staring at us. It's kind of funny. It's funny to me. I'm also, like, delirious because I'm so freaking tired. Oh. Ah. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the, facep the, the, with the festivities.
Yay. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to the new island. I've participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch from truly trust my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm? Oh! Now we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape that this deserted island into... I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore. Hmm, but what should we call it? Did you ask me for a name? I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. In the spirit of democracy, we should name it. We should put it to a vote. Jordy rules. Hmm? Take a little time to think, and everyone's ready. We'll present you our ideas. Um. I am thinking, I am thinking. Decisions are hard. Oh, definitely not that. Maybe, maybe. Nope, definitely not that one. I'm thinking Onderon. <laughs> Why not?
Either that or Corellia. Others are thinking Dagobah, but you know, island. You know, not exactly a swampy area. Um. Ooh, what about this? Let's see, what do we think? Uh, yeah, either Biss or Onderon. This it is. Not as fun of a name, but it is good lore. I'll say each name in order, and you can clap if you think it's the best. Positive response, each and every one of you clapped. I suppose if anyone was in agreement, we could just go with this. It rock sounds great, absolutely splendid. Then from now on, this island will be known as this. Well, Dakaris, since you've proven yourself with the naming this, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on the island. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the present, the resident president of this. Here, can you please say a word or two of the news boxman on the same Howdy, a word or two. You can count on me. Mm, so, we've settled on a name for our island and we've selected a resident representative. Been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. Everyone have a beverage in hand. It's free juice made from pears, our new resident representative harvested on this very island. Then without further ado, a toast to Biss and the happiness of its residents. Cheers! Look at that tambourine. Having fun? I'm gonna kick off a new workout routine tomorrow, so I'm taking it easy tonight. Bush. 
We all just met, but chilling by the fire like this makes me makes it feel like we've been best buds for ages. Boing. We handled your tasks perfectly. We got a chance. We had a nice campfire going. This. This. What a great name. Just rolls off the tongue. Thank you for offering such a wonderful idea to the group. Autocarus, having a good time? Yes. I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Maybe I'll do that. Great idea. Sounds good to me, but first you'll probably want this. Big bag. Hello. Your very own camping cot. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting for you as tent as well. Hmm? Just a few items that might be useful. To open packages and use settings inside, press A. When you're ready, you can move forward to crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all for me for now. Sweet dreams, Dakars. Runs around, and hands out. Oh, I'll fly away! I'm gonna fly. Camping cat place item. We're not sucker around at all. That's upside down. There we go. Let's put the radio here. No, no, we'll put the lamp. That's what I did. In front of it. Gotcha. Not next to it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bend the worky. I have to turn the light off. Yeah, that's pain in the butt. Rest my head for a little while. Rest. I'm getting sleepy. Looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the way. That's all the way, right, Daddy O? Need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been, you're a dog, you've been on the road. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man, friends are where it's at. Being your rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself, my, my bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you, my friend, I gave you about friends. It's pretty key. So I'll dig this island life for a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pals sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life, and we'll catch you later. Icarus, are you in there? Oh, and I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. Ah, uh, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be in. I'll be here when you're ready. Toad sleeping in. Or not. Ah, uh, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it's a little bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. Ho, ho, ho. Yes, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip in a major life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to your life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? Cell phone, huh? Your own phone. 
I had these made especially for island residents. Oh, and I want to make sure it's working right, so you could try turning it on for me, eh? Hmm. Welcome. Good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Definitely not a secluded island or anything. Okay, feel free to put it away now. Oh man, getting a little demanding. Hey, the Paris, have you ever used a smartphone before? Good God. I hope so. Sure have. I have one of my own. Nope, never. Very good. This should be a breeze for you. Hungry. But your Nook's phone are rather easier to operate than ordinary phones. Oh yes, we simply removed most of the features. Oh! Sounds like a cricket. For old people, it's got three buttons on it. And one more thing for you. Untra. Oh, jeez. An itemized bill. This includes everything airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your Nook phone. Bring your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells. Jesus, what are hell of bells? Bells. Oh, ho, ho. Good one, Nagaris. Uh, you're being serious. Yeah, I ain't got no money, dude. Yes, of course. I can't believe I didn't even think of this. Well, bells are a currency that can be exchanged for goods or services here on BIS. Ah, but there's still the... Still the problem that you don't actually have any. Yes, of course. I'm just gonna be things where I'm about to pay you back somewhere else. Somewhere else. Oh boy. Got a tent right there. Well, no need to worry. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. Man, you're in bad business. For the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of standard belts. I got a mile here, dude. Call this extremely helpful service, the Nook Mileage Program. Mileage. What's well, quite extraordinary, if I could do say so myself. The Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here on BIS. I dare say the more you enjoy your life in life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. Jesus, why can't I do this in real life? Want me to relax and just live, man, I make a killing. And you use them to pay back your move-in fees and much more. Alright. So the bottom line is, you need 49,800 bells to pay your move-in fees. But with this new service... you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. I'll go ahead and register your name, and you can pay in miles. Yes, yes, but there are more details available with your Nook phone. Open the Nook Miles app. You'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. Oh, excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. Later, dude. Let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. So happy to have you as a resident of BIS and a client of Nook Inc. <laughs> hey buddy, how's it going? It's kind of cute so far. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! I will not argue with you. Some would say same thing about another game, such as Pokemon. I put it in the same classification. 
From now on, Island Time will match the flow of time in the real world. Do not touch the power button when you see an autosave indicator in the top right right corner. <laughs> you can also save and quit your job, quit your game after pressing minus. <laughs> you are now permitted to say fuck. You can also save, you can quit your game, I don't now. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Oh, damn, I think it's permitted for everybody. Great. I got mail. Yay. <laughs> Gayer is now permitted. Thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Please keep an eye out for future updates as well. Plays in pocket. Don't know what it was. Congratulations on your big move. We hope you enjoy your new island life. To celebrate this fresh start, we'd like to give you a gift that is sure to come in handy. There's a bucket. Open. No, oh, and he's in the switch. Simple DIY workbench. I'm not allowing all that crap. <laughs> They're like things that I can get in trouble for. But the moderation helps keep it policed for me. Someone actually got banned the other day just for chat getting out of hand and it not being modded out. Like one of the partners did. Because it, uh, it, Breach terms of service, and they pretty much uphold you to that once you are technically an employee. I don't block it, it's the auto mod. Is this a DIY recipe? I wonder how I can memorize it. I wonder too. Um, right here. I got Nintendo Switch. That nah. cool.
I'm just gone for earlier. I got my tent all up. Got running thanks to that pep talk. I'm gonna get me a bear. I'm a bear. So far. And disconnect. Got it. Excuse me. <sighs> club, 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 club. Oh man, this is a shitty beer. <sighs> the brochure said we'd be living on an uninhabited island. So I was all ready to go solo. Boing. I could totally go for having rock stars like you around, though. You know, if you need anything. Oh, yeah. Light bulb. I was thinking about how to thank you. Oh, I can think of anyways. I came up with the recipe for a leaf umbrella. That was not what I was thinking of. All right, so the first thing I thought when I was here was, now that's a lot of weeds. Now you got my attention. That's kind of where I got the idea. It's a DIY project that uses weeds. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Right, I know you're going with this. Desert Island. No rules. If you've never done a DIY project before, you should ask Tom Nook to help you out. Group. He's doing free DIY demos over at the resident service. And we're going to get into the pot business. We'll talk to him in a minute. Where's his other retards? That's uh, Dodo. Oh, you know what's called Dodo. Mm hmm. Hmm. Hang on a sec. How did you get in here? Could have swore I locked the front door. That doesn't matter. We're still getting set up in here, so there's no flights today. Sorry about that should be open for flights tomorrow, though, so be sure to come back then. Sign reads, message cards coming soon. Miles, you're enrolled in Nook Miles program. Earn Nook Miles for completing island activities. Trade those miles for various perks and goods at the Nook Shop. Stop. And the Resident Services Center. Make the most out of island life. Earn Nook Miles.
traveled a long way just to move our little island and move to our little island and you enrolled in the Nook Pilots program. You earned your first miles. There are lots of ways to earn miles by playing island life. Got 500 Nook Miles. Four thousand five hundred more. Learn how to fish, an essential skill for living on a remote island. Nook Inc. encourages all island residents who are aiming to become fishing masters. Yes, one of the goals of Nook Inc. is to residents is resident togetherness. Our Gregarious <laughs> Greetings Initiative aims to reward you with Nook Miles just for chatting with residents. Try to talk to your neighbors every day. You've got the bug. Earn Miles just chat catching creepy crawlies. Every bug you catch is one that, that won't be surprising someone in their sock drawer. I have to get going out. Planting flowers makes one island more beautiful. You, and you can earn miles, so grow wild. Yes, yes. Pick of the bunch. You'll get nook, nook miles based on the amount of fruits you've sold. Remember, if you sell our islands, especially fruits on other islands, you might be able to get a better price. Go ahead, be self shellfish. You can earn nook, mile, nook, nook, miles, nook miles based on the number of seashells you sell. That's not the. That's not easy to say. Yeah, no, yeah. And remember, you'll get different amounts of bells for different types of shells. So pay attention. Okay, how many are here? Yeah, I'm done for now. That's a lot of stuff. Custom design. Custom design. So with this app, you can create custom designs to wear or clothing, on clothing, or display around the island. Save custom designs to the app. You can share them with other island, uh, with other island residents. There's a chance that your custom designs will be seen by other players during network play sessions when you visit the island, for example. Please don't create anything yet. How about no? map for current location. Press X to change the settings. Choose whether to display mini-map during your day-to-day -day activities. Passport information is shown here. This may be some other players. Change your photo, title, or comment, to customize it. Oh. Rescue service. Use a service for an emergency situation on the island when your path is blocked and you're stuck. Sent to a place such as your home or resident services. Nook miles are generally required to use this. Oop. Change this thing as bubble. What was if I...
I'm going to take me a quick break. I'll be back in probably about five minutes. You in a second.
We are back. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Island bulletin board. We'll use this board to post important notices and other useful bits of information for everyone. Yes, yes. Be written by the one dude. Island residents. And actually, I don't need to. Alright. Island residents and visitors alike should feel free to use the bulletin board to communicate with each other, celebrate special events, and more. Omnook. Where's Tommy at? Oh boy. Welcome, welcome. As you can see, it is quite cozy here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable. Hmm? Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you procure some of the essentials for thriving in our little paradise. If you want to earn some bell bells, he has a rather generous supply of purchasing. Policy of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous. Yes, yes. Oh, no more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it would quite I think it I think it would be quite useful, so I do hope you take me up on it. Oh, I seem to discovered my DIY workbench. Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it will be quite useful for island life. Hmm? So shall I put you down for the next available session? I'd love to. What does DIY mean? Some other time. Love to. Yes, yes, that's the island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment. Let's get started. Welcome to my DIY workshop. Oh, I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit. Can you see how simple it is to DIY or just do it yourself? You'll understand what I mean. Basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench like this one. So today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using un you know using common material that you can find anywhere yes for this particular recipe we require a mere five tree branches it is admittedly a little flimsy now then come see me once you've collected the material oh, welcome welcome you don't waste any time do you we're still setting up for starters and to make residence spaces on it right now well, then, uh, never know. you're busy but feel free to take a look Items are thinking of selling. Take a look. Great. A uh, pick a naked basket. A uh, director's chair. Ooh. Clumsy fishing rod. Clumsy net. Clumsy water can. Pink shot. Medicine. Crap. Alright. Anything catch your eye? We're not just sellers, we're also buy things from you, including stuff gathered on the island. And because we want to support efforts to beautify the island, we'll even pay a little bit pay you a little bit in return for any weeds or trash you bring in. If you want to know whether we'll buy something, just ask. Odakaris, great to see you. Campfire was a lot of fun. We're here all night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything island related. Also, I'll be out during the day checking in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you should do, just don't hesitate to stop me for a chat. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, an ATM. I like money. Oh, how could I forget? I should give you a brief explanation of that terminal. That is our nook stop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. At the moment, you can use two services to curse. 
The first is Duck Shopping. It's a catalog shopping service that can be hard to find on an island. Second, this terminal serves as an automatic bell dispenser or ABD for the Nook, for the Bank of Nook. We're working on a service by which you'll be able to redeem Nook miles for various things. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed. Yes, yes. Once per day, accessing the Nook shop will award you a daily bonus. Day one of 50 bonus miles. Or day one, 50 bonus miles. So I got 50 bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please select from the following services. Nook shopping. ABD. I can't remember what it was. Eight. Oh, I should give you a brief introduction to that box, too. It's a recycle box for all island residents to use. We'll be using it for items removed during constructions and such. Yes, yes, if you see anything you anything you like, feel free to take it right on home. The box gets full, we'll get rid of the oldest items first, so don't delay in picking what you want. That will do. <clears throat> what, what did you tell Mort Ami about? What did I do? Of course, find the necessary material. Well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Yes, yes. Well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Begin, just select your project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try. Seems like the right process to build a fishing rod. It would fit in a little red box. That was perfect. Okay. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipe, huh? And that concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you. Feel free to char free of charge naturally. I'll just need to send them to your Nook phone. Would you mind opening it up? All right, not ready to use it any time. <clears throat> finish, 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 just grab your ski. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. Speaking of fishing, I'm no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips. In my experience, you should aim in front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line. I would love to see anything managed to catch. If I would love to see anything you managed to catch. I'm quite curious about the lo local fauna. Yeah, right? Some sort of 
trickery. supposed to pick up stuff like this. I think I'm actually supposed to find something to throw this at first. Got it. Big ass, big ass rock up? That'd be funny. That's something about a shadow. Ah. I think it said in front of it. Really, that was not the way to do it. Okay. Hey! I caught a Russian carp. My skills are sharp. Do it in my pocket. Great idea. Check this app for info on the DIY recipes you've collected. Also register frequently crafted items as favorites, so make good use of it while you why? Just need a bunch of tree branches. Ten total. So eight.
Freshwater goby. All right, let's go back to here. Oh. because I can't I do believe this is a Wikipedia. I'm 
There was something else. Net. Uh, whatever. I have 500 and I got 400 and then...
Pero...
Talking to uh, Martin Manova real quick. Uh, oh yeah, and then that. <clears throat> Magic bullets. So yeah. Got, uh, I got a lot of time in this one. What's up, buddy? Just showing Splatty something in my, my gungeon.
Are you still streaming? It's good. It's good. I don't know. I, I can't. It doesn't look like my multiplayer option's available yet. Oh, you're wrapping up? Shit, dude. I'm gonna be at it for a long time. It doesn't look like my multiplayer option is, uh... Is up yet. I think that's something that comes later. Is it something about the... It being open tomorrow or something. Yes, sir. Boy, you're up late. What are you doing up this late? Yeah, now I'm gonna be streaming all day. All day. <clears throat> Get it. Oh no, why did I pull back too quickly? <laughs> Don't you have work tomorrow, Cross? Second squid. With how rare these seem to be, that should sell pretty well. This is where I call it a night. Uh, crap, it's already four. <laughs> Gotta be up in the morning to work. Uh, so much for sleep. All right, we haven't really said much in the uh, last, what, hour or so? Maybe longer. Kind of into it. So, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, I was hoping we were going to be able to do some online play with it, so I guess that's not there yet. At least we haven't gotten far enough for it. Don't know when that happens. Cute. Play settings. Kind of curious. Hello. <gasps> Interesting. No switch online app, huh? Curious.
open. I have to check something first. Or I lie up Is the airport, so I'm gonna run to the airport. Let's see if I can get the multiplayer stuff's done there. Worth a shot. Water our plants again, real quick. Or just not at all. A crappy job of this so far.
All right. Again, thanks for joining me tonight. It was fun. Um, just gonna go and call it a night here. Not coming about a raid tonight because it's just me pretty much. Is that my right there? Yep. Just so. All right. Well, have a good rest of your night slash morning. It is four freaking a.m. in the morning. Uh, yeah. Sayonara. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Bye bye. Good night. <laughs>